Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Mark Bruce, owner of Fit Strength Performance, and I'm here with Jack Leisure, owner of Jack Leisure Basketball, as well as the head varsity coach at McQuaid Jesuit High School. Today we're going to talk about how there should be a blend between strength and conditioning as well as the skill work athletes are doing on the court. Jack does a great job doing some private skills lessons, does larger group training as well. So we're going to display, demonstrate, explain how some of the movements that I do in the weight room from an athletic standpoint, a strength standpoint, will complement some of the things that Jack Jack does in his skills training as well. Awesome, Mark. Thanks for having me. So one of the big things that we try to do is, is a foundational footwork thing that we start with a lot with a lot of our workouts. And um, what you'll see is a lot of your movements, whether it's off the catch, off the dribble, um, come down to loading your feet the right way and in the right spot. So what we'll do to start right away is we'll kind of take, you know, putting your feet from you know your, your, your normal starting position in any strong athletic movement and we're gonna work on just tying the dribbles and the, the jab and load footwork together, okay? So we call these side jabs, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna pound, all right? And then on the second dribble, we're gonna work on just loading that foot to the side instead of loading in a spot where we become less of an athlete and, and um, out of position, okay? So I'm just gonna do a pound and a side jab. Um, every other dribble, load that side jab. All right, here's how it looks from the front. Okay. That's uh, side jabs, and we, we'll do that to start almost every workout from you know, third and fourth graders all the way up to college players. Yeah. Do you want me to show a couple times yep. so you can explain it? So what I'm hearing from Jack is where we want to be on the athletic stance because we'll teach our athletes the same thing in our weight room. You know, we'll start from a, a snap down. Right? Yep. We do snap downs all the time where we're starting tall and we snap down because that's going to be that good athletic position, hips back, chest up. So it seems like it complements that dribble jab yes. very well, or that side jab. Absolutely. So for here. Good. Now, so what I would pick at with Mark here is what we want to make sure we do is first thing is this. The hands are going to tell the feet how hard we're going to go. So if my hands are going softer, then my feet have to sort of keep up with that. So we say, make, we go pound your dribbles to be aggressive with your feet. So I want him to pound his dribbles a little harder. When he does that, he's got to make sure his hands are on top of the ball and he's dribbling right outside his foot. If he's dribbling in here, then he's pounding with weaker muscles, okay? And then the next thing I want to see him do is I want that dribble and the jab to hit the ground at the same time. So let's see that. Good. Bang those dribbles even harder. You see how his feet speed up when his hands go faster? So he dribbles harder, his feet go faster. Dribbles softer, then his feet slow down. Now what are you looking for for that, you know, so where, where do you want the athletes to load? You know, right, so if I'm dribbling and I'm here, where should I think, like, where can I attack? What should my hips be doing? What are you, what are you looking for? That's perfect. So a lot of times what we'll see is this, is we'll, go to, we'll do these jabs and the body will go away from the foot. So now you don't actually even, like if I'm guarding, if you're guarding that as a defender, you're not gonna have to tr respect that or, or, or react to that really. And then when you, when you jab, you're not loaded to actually make that next movement. So what we wanna see is we wanna see like their weight go over that and then you're in that position you just talked about where we're loaded in the right positions the hips are back and we're ready to move out of that without having another step like we call it a kick stand making that jab then having a kick stand going yeah now you're a slower athlete just because you're less efficient so should my weight be in that hip so if i'm driven with the right hand should i have that weight in the same side or should it load right. that i opposite? think, you should, I think you're, you're starting there right but then as, as soon as you go load now your weight's got to come to this hip and every time you go, if I'm going to move that way, I got to load from here to there. And then if, I, if that changes up, I got to load back on. So what I'm hearing is you got to be able to shift your weight. You Correct. shouldn't be all on one side. You shouldn't be all on one side. You should be able to let your weight center of mass shift Absolutely. with you. Shoulders yep. and hips should go with Absolutely. each other. What I see a lot is we try to keep our weight like right in the middle all the time. Yeah. And I'm not going to be able to make anything explosive happen until I go load one side sure. or the other. Yeah. So what would be the next progression to that? So then we'll, we, get, we get a little more advanced, and this would be more for, probably for kids that have had the ball in their hands a little bit longer, but more advanced movie you'll see with, with um, higher level players is a cross jab. So we're going to make that same action happen, but it's going to be on a crossover, and I'm going to load that foot opposite the crossover. So it's going to be pound, punch, pound, punch. Okay, so... I, th I like to say, let's punch with our feet. Let's see you do it. So I'm here. Good. Punch Ooh. right to the side, though. So if you, Jack's definitely if you better feel than me. that jab got in front, then you're out of position. Right to the side. Right to the side. 
Good. Harder dribbles means more aggressive feet. Good. So this one's a little bit challenging sometimes because the body, ball's going away from the body, but we're still loading in the same way. And what I like to say is let's try to keep our footwork inside a, a, a rectangle. So if my foot breaks out of that rectangle, I'm out of position and I'm going to have that kickstand touch before sure. I go. But if I can sort of stay in that little rectangle, now I'm loaded in the right areas. My body's in a strong position to just go without extra steps. So it sounds like we're, we're dynamically now shifting your center of mass. Yes. Because if I push here, right, I want to be able to let that sway, let the hips right. go. Right. So if I push here, I got to be able to show some weight on this side, but then be able to let that center of mass shift Absolutely. to the other side. Yeah. So now it becomes more like, like we, we say, you know, if, you're, if we're hitting a boxing back, like you got to get everything behind that punch. Yeah. And so what we say with these, you got to punch with your feet. So I got to feel like everything with my body is now getting behind that and loading and we're punching. So there's a little breakdown and then punch. So let's see you do that with a little breakdown. Breakdown and punch. You got harder with your dribbles. Good. Your feet are faster now. Keep, your feet, keep those pounds going. Good. Good. Yeah, so you're going to see a big difference when those dribbles get harder and, and you start to break down your feet in tighter areas. Like sure. Get hard, more aggressive and, and, and load better in tighter areas. Sure. So now what's that third one that you were talking about? So then the last one becomes, you know, now let's be able to do everything that we do off the, off the catch, off the dribble, vice versa. We want to be able to load the same way. So if we start with, if we start with a catch, all right, and a lot of athletes, so we just need to be able to, basketball players, we need to just catch better and yeah. catch ready to score. So we start with a catch and we just want to load that same spot, side jab, and then come into shot forward. Sure. Okay, so let's see you do that. So we go left, right catch, punch, left, right, left shot. Yep, let's see that. Left, right catch, punch, right, left. Yep. And you've, again, same thing. That pound is, if that pound is in front of your feet, you're going to slow your feet down. Right. If that pound is outside your feet, you're going to free your feet up to be so a So again, I'm focusing athlete. on shifting that weight. Yep. Instead of like selling out, it could be more of just a shift Punch. the weight. Right. Good. And then get it. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Load in a way that you can get out. Get out fast. Good. Load hard and get out. Let's see it. Left, right. Punch. Go. Good. Make your best one now. As hard as you can. Best one. Whew. Left, right. Punch. Go. Good. Good. All right. So, so now that, you know, that's, that's three different movements, you know, you don't need a ton of moves in basketball. Yeah. You know, like if you have move, counter move, and you do those well, you know, you make yourself hard to yeah. guard. So good. now if we went from that same left to right, would you teach it both with having the left foot be that lead foot? Yep. Or would you have one where it could be just still that right foot? How would you teach so it you that can, one? So you, know, you can then take that going, so you'd be going across your pivot foot. You'd be working on loading and going across your pivot foot. Yeah. Every player really should learn to go away from their pivot foot as yeah. well. So those are things that if you are working on this a lot and you're becoming more advanced with hoops and you're playing against better defenders, yeah. you gotta be able to do it. You're gonna, you're gonna start to learn how to do it with both feet, to right. do it into one, two stops, to do it into jump stops. That footwork, sometimes people don't realize how much practice you need to just get those yeah. things really sharp. So one may be just where you may come here and then go that way, one might be you're pretending right. like you're almost a lefty if you're a righty. Absolutely, yep. So we can flip way. it. We can catch right, left and punch with the left foot and yeah. go. We can catch it on a jump stop and do the same loads. And we can catch it always on left foot where we're, if you're a right-handed player, yeah. always catching. That's called permanent pivot. We can go across it and go away from it. Right. But I think all good players should learn how to do everything. Yeah. And then they'll, you know, they'll see where it plugs into right. you know, live game play. And we're going to get into the defensive piece, right? But if you're a good defender, you're going to make the offensive player get uncomfortable. So they may force, right, that right foot be the pivot. They may be able to get quick on them. Absolutely. So that's good for a yep. basketball player to be able to catch it with the right foot, but still look like a right-handed player and be able to do the same thing. Yes, so for sure. Versatility. Yep. So that, that, this would be a weak, this would be an area of weakness for most right-handed players yeah. to be able to play off that foot. Right. And most players can't do that. So yeah. that would be something probably more advanced players, would, you know, that's something to practice and be ready to play against sure. better defenders. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to get into some of the strength things that we'll do to complement that. Sounds good.